Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Lua scripting in Counter-Strike DD video course where I explain the basics and not so basics of Lua scripting in CS2D. Now this is the second part and as promised I'll be bringing some more complex examples, or rather a more complex example. And as promised it will be an example you may or may not really know very very well. So let's begin. The example I will be bringing today is the caller say script, a script which displays your message into the chat colored differently. So to begin with, we declare the admin uh, the admin table containing two USGN IDs, the first being that of DC and the second being mine. Then, I know DC will not participate in this uh, in this tutorial, but f just for the sake of having uh, a few different values in the table, I'll put his ID there. Now, let's declare the function which we will call say color and give it two arguments of the ID and txt. Close it. Add the hook uh, say to the function say color. Now, now I'll have to use the for loop. So the for loop basically. Um, uh, uh, skips through the values in the range provided to it. In this range, in uh, vanilla, a for loop looks like this. So the classic um, for loop looks like this. But we will have it differently. We'll have it. There we go. So um, here, mm, the pairs function is a built-in Lua function, which returns a couple of values. The first being the Lua, uh, the table, excuse me, the table index. The second being the value uh, assigned to that index. So in this case, for example, um, the index will be two, and the value will be seven seven four nine. So that's how it works. So, and the underscore variable is a garbage variable which I will not be needing because you can only assign two values to two variables you cannot assign one of those two values to one variable you have to assign two values to two variables and if you will not need one variable uh, it is sometimes uh, named underscore because well underscore is just one symbol and it indicates that you will not you will not require that variable anymore in your script. And now I add a logical expression where I check whether or not the player's um, USGN ID is in that table. So the player function is a is a built-in catch strike to D lower function um, which has two arguments, the play ID and the information requested, and which returns some information about the player. In this case, it returns the player's USGN ID if such exists. If not, it returns zero, as far as I know. Yeah, I think it's either. And now, I just make the script display the message said by the player in a different color. So to call it a string, you need to do the following. You need to insert the copyright symbol, which is inserted by pressing and holding left alt and pressing 0, 1, 6, 9 on your numpad. Then releasing out, there you have it. After the copyright symbol, you have to uh, write in 
three values, or rather one composite value, the RGB value of the color. So red, green, and blue. 255 red, 000, zero, zero green, 000, zero, zero blue, which gives pure red. So now we concatenate the player's name. Put the, um, let's just make it called Q admin and we can cut any text set by the player. And then what you have to do is write return one in order for the original message, the CSTD chat message, to disappear. Remember, this is excuse me, this is one of the most often met errors. And mistakes in this script. Return one makes the original message disappear. Remember. So now end and end, and there you have it. Eleven lines. Now, new game. I do the file. Now, if I write long, look, it's red, just as we wanted it. Now, if I put 7748 and reload the script, and I say lol, oh, well, nothing. Again, but when I put 7749, reload the script, lol, hey, works. So, that is it. That is your color say script. And, well, this concludes the part two of the Lua scripting for Counter-Strike 2D video course. I'll be returning with part three soon, and hopefully we will meet there. So, until then, goodbye, cheers, take care.